Good morning, good morning. Welcome Sunday. It's uh, Sunday here in West Texas. We're here in El Paso, Texas at Rudy's Barbecue. And uh, just getting ready to get the stream kicked off here. Excited. Um, today we have a few different choices that we're going with. We have some uh, turkey uh, sliced thin the way I like it. Um, also a little bit of uh, lean brisket. We have uh, some uh, uh, pickles and some uh, nice uh, baked beans, or, or not baked beans, but like they call them, the Rudy's beans. And then we have a uh, pulled pork sandwich, um, which one of my favorites. So today we're kind of sitting here, you know, battling it out, you know. Do you like your sauce to be a little more sissy, a little sweeter, <laughs> you know, a little uh, less hot? Or do you like your Texas original, which is, you know, a lot spicier barbecue sauce that we go with. So uh, in Texas here, most of your sauces are going to have a little bit more of a bite to them. And they're going to be, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit hotter. Um, Rudy's offers two different options, which is a sissy sauce and uh, Rudy's barbecue sauce. Um, you kind of poured a little bit out here so you can kind of see them. You know, you have your your big pepper uh, ground in both sauces. Your sissy sauce just is a little bit, uh, a little, a little nicer, a little easier. Um, if you don't want something quite so hot. My personal favorite is the traditional Rudy's barbecue sauce, and that's my favorite. Um, you know, in Texas, sauce is more of a side. You're not going to see it slathered on everything. You're not going to see it, uh, you know, um, really mopped on all the time. It's going to always be served on the side. Texas, we kind of think that the meat stands on its own, and, you know, the sauce is just something just to enhance it. You know, you're not uh, saucing everything, you know, covering up the flavor of the meat. So, you know, a little bit of sauce, you know, like this goes a long way. You know, in the, in the traditional sauce, you taste uh, the onion comes through, you taste the garlic in it, um, you taste some of the spice. Uh, which gives it kind of a nice little uh, tang, not like a vinegar tang like you would get in other parts of the country, but uh, you get kind of that nice little heat uh, tang that comes with it uh, on their sissy sauce. On the sissy sauce, you're picking up more of the... Uh, uh, sugary undertones, maybe some molasses, you know, some sweetener to it that you wouldn't normally uh, you get on the typical Texas barbecue sauces, but both are really good, both uh, taste awesome, and, uh, you know, we're, we're a fan of either sauce. You know, here at Rudy's, you know, they have uh, multiple sitting areas. I love how they have the uh, picnic benches out here. And then you can kind of see back in where the uh, kind of traditional kind of family style seating where everyone sits next to everybody. And that's probably what is my favorite thing about barbecue is if you have kids or if you have a family or if you're coming by yourself, it doesn't really matter. You're going to enjoy and have a great barbecue and, you know, you might meet new people, you might... Uh, sit next to someone that you never even knew, you know, before, and I think to me that's what makes barbecue, you know, kind of one of those things that everyone loves, everyone loves coming to, it's just awesome, but today we're doing it here at Rudy's Barbecue in West Texas, we're over here on the west side of El Paso at their one on uh, South Desert and Artcraft, and if you want to come have some delicious barbecue, Come by, check it out. Let us know what's your favorite sauce. Do you like the traditional sauce or do you like the sweet sauce? Let us know. Hope you guys have a great day out there. Hope your pits are fired up and you guys are having a, you know, going to be cooking something great. And we look forward to talking to you again on Texas Barbecue TV. Have a great day, guys.